Hey everybody, welcome to my first episode of Throwback Thursday. So what I want to do on Throwback Thursdays is I want to talk about some of my favorite DLC songs that has been re- that have been released by Harmonix over the past, you know, 5 years of DLC that they've been releasing. And, you know, I don't have any particular order in which I'm going to do this and I'm going to highlight about 3 songs a week. I may highlight some albums too, I may highlight some packs, but let's get started. So the first song I want to talk about is Brother by Pearl Jam. Now, I don't know if you guys remember we were promised a Pearl Jam game uh, for Rock Band, which is going to feature live tracks from the band, and unfortunately that never came to fruition. So instead, we got a couple handful of uh, Pearl Jam songs uh, that were not part of the album uh, 10 or Backspacer. Now, this song, Brother, is one of their lesser known songs, but man, is it ever a good song. It's so much fun on drums. And strangely enough, this song came out before Rock Band 3 did, and this song features full harmonies. Apparently, I guess the Pearl Jam uh, live game that was going to come out was going to feature harmonies. And I guess they included them in all the DLC that was released from that band. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs to play on Rock Band. There's a lot of playing between the Crash and Ride. You're probably going to be playing that drum kit pretty hard when you're playing these songs. Uh, it's one of my favorite songs. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. I mean, for 99 cents, how can you go wrong? So the next song is from Axl Rose's solo project. Uh, it's called There Was a Time. It was from Chinese Democracy. It's not Guns N' Roses to me because it doesn't feature Izzy, Slash, uh, Duff, or Matt, or Steven. And anyways, when this album was released, to a lot of people's surprise on Rock Band 2, a lot of people probably didn't buy the album. I, I could probably count on, my, on two hands or one hand how many people actually downloaded the full album. But you shouldn't let that discourage you because it's not just because it's not Guns N' Roses. There are some great songs that are a ton of fun to play on this album. My favorite song is There Was a Time. Uh, this is an absolute blast on guitar. If you guys love playing guitar, you're going to be challenged pretty well here. There's two just blistering guitar solos that you're going to be playing on. Bass is reasonably fun, and the drums are an absolute blast. There's a lot of different fun little uh, fills thrown in. I don't even think you'll be playing the same film more than once in this entire song. The vocals, of course, are Axl Rose's vocals, so you're going to be playing, singing at a much higher pitch. And I've always found that Axl's voice is very hard to emulate when you're playing games like Rock Band. So do yourself a favor and check out this song. Other songs that are really good from this album include Street of Dreams, Chinese Democracy, Better, IRS, and Catcher in the Rye. Let's move on to our last song of the week. So the last song of uh, Throwback Thursday I want to talk about is This Love by Maroon 5. Now, we've had a couple packs of Maroon 5 released on Rock Band, and to be honest, a lot of the songs are not very fun to play, uh, at least on drums or guitar. And this one actually really stands out. This is a fantastic song um, to play on drums. It's pretty fun on guitar as well as bass. It's a, maybe a lot as challenging on bass compared to guitar or drums, but the this song and drums is definitely going to uh, practice your closed and open hi-hat. You'll be playing a lot of a closed hi-hat and snare, and then they'll have like an occasional open hi-hat thrown in there as well. This song also does feature harmonies, and I believe there is a keys part to it as well because it was released after Rock Band 3 came out. And this song is an absolute blast. I know a lot of people may overlook Maroon 5 and say, well, I don't really like poppy stuff. But if you're looking for just a fun song that's great on all instruments, give this song a try. That basically does it for my favorite customs of the week. I'm hoping to do this as a reoccurring thing every Thursday. And I'd like to know if you guys have any suggestions for act- uh, for songs that I should be covering. Maybe there's something I missed or maybe something I don't have in my catalog that you guys want to recommend to me. I'd love to see your suggestions. Just leave a comment in the section below. And make sure you guys follow me on Facebook as well as Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at Rock Band Sam. And if you guys want to step in all the things guitar here on Rock Band, click the subscribe button. Take care, guys, and have a good week.